What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is gonna be about cutting tools. So the tools and techniques and little kind of tips and tricks that I use personally uh, in order to help me with my cut. First things first, uh, you've just seen me do my cardio. Now I personally do my cardio fasted because I feel like it gives me like the mental edge on the day. I wake up, I get changed, I go do my cardio um, and I get my mindset right for the day. I realize, look, this is where the fat burns, uh, get your mind right and I have that 30 minutes to myself and I focus on different things in my life. I kind of visualize and I have that kind of sense of, okay, I know what I'm doing now. So fasted cardio is my first technique, guys. Gets your mind right, starts that initial fat burn, puts you in a bigger deficit already. So cardio will also put you in a deficit. Um, obviously creating a bigger deficit will make you lose more weight. So cardio can be used in that sense as well. Um, I'm gonna do my second point in this as well. Um, I've got loads and loads of points today guys. So they're gonna come thick and fast. So be ready for them. Um, my next point, my next point is caffeine guys. Now you gotta use caffeine lightly. You don't wanna just go in and smash a load of caffeine in. I have around 200 to 300 milligrams a day. Um, mostly that comes from a pre-workout, which is about 200, or maybe I have like a knocker or something like that. Um, I don't drink coffee or anything, so I kind of get my uh, caffeine elsewhere. So caffeine actually acts as an appetite suppressant, so um, kind of delays when you're gonna get hungry. It also is a stimulant as well, so your heart rate gets up. Um, kind of you know burning more calories it allows you to put a bit more effort into your kind of training um, especially if you're training fasted cardio can be great because it acts as that initial energy source if you've been fasting all night um, so yeah cardio and caffeine my first two tips of the day I'm gonna go walk the dogs then I'll come back for my next tip That's my breakfast, protein pancakes. Um, they both failed, so they're all cracked and just in kind of pieces. But they taste good. I put a little bit of honey on top and it hits the spot. Um, so this leads me on to my next point. It is 12.52, nearly 1 p.m. in the afternoon. This is my first meal of the day. Um, intermittent fasting guys um, now it's not like your traditional wake up and don't eat the entire day and and you can't and kind of can't kind of eat the whole day and stuff um, it's more you take the time over your sleep so say I go to bed at I don't know just for example 10 p.m. and I wake up at 10 p.m. the next day that's 12 hours so that's 12 hours without sleeping uh, without eating um, and then I then continue to not eat until about 1, 2 p.m. So it increases that time to about 15 hours. But more realistically, I kind of, I probably go to bed about midnight, 1 o'clock, wake up about 9, 10. So I get 8, 9 hours sleep, that's 8, 9 hours fasting, probably a bit more because I don't eat just straight before I go to bed. Um, and then, you know, I don't eat till 1, so that's like a good 13 hours fasting. Um, I find that it's easier to not eat when you when you wake up rather than to not eat during the day like rather than wake up have a big 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 breakfast have all your calories and then not eat the whole day i'd find that a lot harder than just kind of waking up from already fasting pardon me rather than just wake up from already fasting um and just kind of continue that uh, and then if i couple that with the caffeine along with the Cardio kind of gives me a lot of time where I'm actually not that hungry because of the suppressant of the cardio and the caffeine. Um, 
So it actually helps the intermittent fasting. So the reason why intermittent fasting helps is because you get to eat a majority of your calories later on in the day. So instead of having all of those calories, so instead of having 2,600 calories um, from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m., I actually have those calories from 1 p.m. to 1 p.m. So that actually shortens my window by three or four hours, um, giving me more time to kind of be eating, which is great for me. Because I love to eat, and I love to be full. So it allows me to have bigger, bigger meals. Um, Oh, it's good, man. Like, sometimes if you don't eat the whole day, like, you can have, like, a 2,600 calorie meal. Imagine that. Oof, that'd be so nice. But I can't last that long. So, intermittent fasting. Technique three, tool three. Let's see the next one. Alright guys, my next tip is going to be seasonings. Now, seasonings are an absolutely vital, vital key of cutting, especially for me, um, because I have very, very similar meals every single day. Um, the seasoning kind of transforms that meal. So today, you know, I went for sweet chili on my chicken. Um, sometimes I do jerk, sometimes I'll do Cajun, sometimes I'll do uh, chili lime, you know, very, very, very different kind of, you know, just little packets of seasoning. You know, per pack, it's, it's negligible. I mean, if you just put two eighths of the pack on, you know, you get very, very good flavor. Um, there's a little bit of salt, but once you kind of get, once you get, your body gets into the routine of having that salt, you do find equilibrium and find homeostasis. Um, but I find that these seasonings can completely transform the meal. Um, you can really kind of interchange these, have the same meal essentially, but a different meal. You know, if you put kind of Chinese with it, you can have rice and it's kind of like a Chinese rice type thing. Or if you just have sweet, straight sweet potato, you can have kind of Cajun, you know, mojito lime, all these different kind of seasonings and they really change the meal. Um, so guys, find a seasoning that you like, uh, stick to it if you really do like it or just find a few seasonings that you like and just interchange them. So you always have these different meals, things always keep interesting, um, and you don't get bored of the diet, guys, because a lot of the time people just get bored of the diet and they wanna go off it, and then they, that's, when they, that's when you start to break the diet. So if you find what works for you, find the seasonings that work, it's really, really gonna help you in the future. So my second to last tip, seasonings. Final tip coming at you in a second. To love me, oh, I need someone to love me. Oh, I need someone to love. Right, guys, my final thing that I want to talk about is if it fits your macros. Now, you know, these are protein pancakes that I've just whipped up, and they're absolutely delicious. You know, um, it's very, very, very sustainable kind of breakfast that you can have, um, and it's all interchangeable, guys. So. Let me explain to you in about 20 seconds how to do this. So, first things first, download my fitness pal. And all you want to do is set your calories to whatever they are, set your macros to whatever they are. All that's gonna happen is that you're gonna get your macros and calories up on the screen like this. And all you're gonna do is plug in every single food that you eat and fit those calories. That's it. So each kind of food that you eat has a macro. Each kind of food that you eat has a calorie. All you need to do is match the macros up to the calories. So if your protein's not there, have a protein shake. If your protein's not there, have chicken. If your protein's not there, have mints. If the, the carbs aren't there, have oats. You know, and you, you just build it yourself and you can interchange any kind of food you want. This allows you to eat any food that you want. As long as you hit your macros, as long as you hit your calories, you will, interrupted by the dog, taking a whiz. If you hit these calories and you hit those macros, you will succeed. I'm telling you, all it is is macros and calories. Calories in versus calories out. So if it fits your macros, do it. Interchange foods, learn what you like. Once you learn three or four dishes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, it will become second nature. Guys, 
that's it for all of my tips. Um, tell me if you like these videos. This is very kind of informative, one after the other after the other. If you want more lifestyle videos, more kind of vlogs, let me know because I've got some time coming up and I'm happy to put in the time for you guys. Um, again, I really, really appreciate you guys um, for liking these videos, subscribing. Uh, now hit a thousand subscribers, guys. I'm over the moon. I can't thank any of you guys enough. Hopefully you keep sharing my videos, keep liking my videos, keep commenting, keep the interaction up. I want to talk to you guys. I want to know what you, where you guys are from. I want to know what you guys are doing. So keep commenting, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, everybody. Thank you again.